Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday, March the 10th, 2016, and this is another episode in the Flat Earth series. And in response to uh, some requests, including from Truth Not Trolls Sturrock, also known as Jeremiah Sturk, and also known as a third profile whose name escapes me. He is using three different YouTube names uh, possibly more but anyway um, this is a response to a request for a sunset video showing the last 11 degrees of the sun setting um, now when I took my other video of the sunrise I started off at 7:44 in the morning when the sun was at 11 degrees altitude angle now Truth Not Trolls has protested that uh, he says that the angular size changes uh, within that last 11 degrees to the horizon. Of course, looking at a sunrise or a sunset, the first one that I filmed was a sunrise um, from 11 degrees altitude and uh, this one is a sunset. Uh, obviously it's much easier to um, film a sunset you don't have to get up early in the morning to catch the sunrise possibly only to be faced with a clouded out sky at least in the late afternoon I can see what the sky conditions are like and uh, decide whether I'm going to film a sunset or not so anyway I went out with the camera last night and filmed the sunset from about 15 degrees uh, altitude of the sun that's the the altitude angle of the sun in the sky was about 15 degrees now I've got a lot more work to do on this to put it all together but this is just a quick um, preview video of what we've got. Um, unfortunately I cannot record the on-screen data of the camera such as date and time into the video file. So what I have to do is um, re-record the playback of the video camera into another recording device so that I can record out the on-screen data of the video camera and then I will have to um, re-import that video uh, into the video editing software so that I can put the file together um, to show exactly what's what with um, uh, picture in picture with the side-by-side -side of the two cameras I use two cameras so I'm going to have to do this twice in fact and because I'm going to have to record it out manually uh, from recorder to recorder means that I have to do it at real time. So I've got about an hour's worth of video um, So I've got to do that twice at real time and then put it all together So obviously there is quite a lot of work to put this together But in any case, let's have a look at our preview here. So I've imported um, one of or the main camera video into Pinnacle Studio 12 and I've added a time code um, I tried to find a plugin that would actually allow me to enter the date and time on screen. So far I haven't been able to do that, but I will be able to do that when I re-record the data. So this is a quick preview. So what I've done is I've, I've found a plugin that will show the time code, which you see on the right hand side of the um, video player there. So I've added the, the date, so that is, the 9th, that is uh, March the 9th, 2016 at 18.39 or 6.39 uh, p.m. plus the time code. Okay, so our, our starting point is 6.39 p.m. and then the figure on the right is the progression of time. So as I scrub through, you'll see that time changing. Let me just turn the sound off there. Um, so you see the time changing. So at, at this point here, let me just bring that back, to close enough. So we've got um, 18.39 plus 10 minutes and 3 seconds and 24 frames. It's 25 frames of video for every second of video. Okay. So as I scrub through, well let's start at the beginning again. This is when I was setting the camera up. So first of all the camera was on a wide shot while I set it up and then I zoomed all the way in like I normally do and I adjusted the, the focus and the exposure so that the uh, camera would be locked in so that's the point where I locked it in and then I backed it off to a midway point 
while I went and set up the second camera because I wanted to film side by side okay and so I'm busy with the second camera at this point just occasionally adjusting it back um, to keep the Sun in frame and then at this point here I adjust the, the main camera this one that we're looking at here the FS 306 is the one I used um, I adjusted it up so we had the Sun at full zoom full 37 times zoom as we can see here okay then I kept it locked in at that zoom and just had to keep adjusting the camera to um, keep the Sun within the frame obviously because it's moving out of the field of view due to the rotation of the earth okay so you can see the progression of time down in the bottom right hand corner of the player there so we're now 30 minutes on so that's 18.39 plus 30 minutes and then you can see that the Sun is sort of dimming a little bit as it gets lower in the sky but the angular size remains the same okay and then we ran into another belt of cloud or bank of cloud which sits above the Kaimai mountain range uh, which is quite common for the Kaimais and so we lost visibility for a while and then when it became visible again I had to zoom the camera out so that I could find the Sun um, and then zoom it up again and lock it in so what we've got here is at the top we've got a cloud bank at the top and at the bottom we've actually got the top of the Kaimai mountain range so in this scene here you can see the angular size of the Sun that's on exactly the same zoom as it was before so using the grab tool here I've grabbed some screenshots and saved them to a file and here are the screenshots so I'm going to start off with the very first one so this is at um, 6.39 plus 36 seconds and 17 frames okay so I'm going to open this with paint.net and I'm going to use the magic wand I'm going to take out the background and I'm going to take out the center of the Sun's disk so that just leaves us with this green circle right around the outside okay and then I'm going to save that as a PNG file there it is PNG and I'm going to call that alpha because it's got an alpha channel which means it's transparent so I've saved that okay so that's saved now I'm going to cut to the chase scene as they say and I'm going to go to this image here which is when the Sun was at about um, well I won't even try and estimate but it was probably about three degrees so there we go I did estimate um, but I can check this data properly uh, against the time I'll be able to confirm the altitude angle um, against the time when I check in starry night so let's open this one um, with paint and there it is and now I'm going to use layers and I'm going to import from file and I'm going to import that alpha um, frame that we just created okay so there is our alpha frame and now I can drag it around the screen and what do we see when I overlap that one there and remember this one was taken at 639 and 36 seconds okay and the image that we're laying it over the top of was taken at 639 plus 43 minutes and 44 seconds what do we see the angular size is exactly the same same as it was same as it was 43 minutes and 44 seconds earlier exactly the same okay so let's open up the very last one that I took which was when the Sun set over the Kaimais so again we've got the top of the Kaimai mountain range there and we've got the cloud belt so there was a very small gap between the cloud and the top of the mountains so let's open this one up 
uh, open with paint and let's layer that alpha again and there it is and bingo same size exactly the same size so as I said um, there is a bit of work involved to put this video together and obviously it's going to be the final video the final uncut video is going to be approximately one hour long which I'm sure that nobody wants to sit through but I can upload it so that it's there so if anybody wants to step through it and analyze it and scrutinize it and chew it over then it's all there so um, there we have it I will be bringing more videos on this to confirm the angular size at sunset and if I get the opportunity to film a sunset with no cloud getting in the way I will do so and if I get the opportunity and the inclination to get up early and film a sunrise if the sky is clear it means that I will have to travel some distance uh, from my home location to get a clear view but I will consider doing that if I've got the time and energy. Thank you for watching.